Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I've got 24 bread and butter bolos coming your way. What is bread and butter? Bread and butter to me are items that are easier to find that I sold for $35 or less on eBay. I do cross post my items from eBay to Mercari and Poshmark. If you want to know how I do that, there is a link down in the description of the video showing you how I use List Perfectly to bulk cross post. It's amazing. I love it. Highly recommend it. Been using it for a long, long time, uh, pretty much since the beginning. Um, if you want to check it out, if you watch the video and you have questions, feel free to leave them in the comments of the video. And if you want to try it, you can use coupon referral code BOLOBUDDIES, all one word, to get 30% off your first month. Now, these items in this video did sell faster on eBay. Um, I just sold something. Oh, and I've got a couple offers and something my husband sold got paid for. So when I get done recording, I'm going to have to ship. Uh, all right, you guys, I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it and what it sold for. So let's get started. Um, screen share. All right. So the first item I sold are these Build-A-Bear roller skates and adjustable uh, removable high top shoes. So these shoes link or fit into the skate. I picked these up at a, I'm sorry, I picked these up in a mystery box from a thrift store. And I sold these for a best offer of $14. The buyer was all in for $25.91. Now, I'm thinking maybe I should have sold these separately because most people don't need two identical pairs. I don't know what I was thinking. What would you have done? Would you have sold them together or separate? Let me know in the comments. The next item I sold is this Disneyland cast member exclusive 50 years collectible castle pin. I picked this up at a garage sale. Um, it was like a bulk lot of Disney pins. So I don't have much in this, probably less than a dollar. And I sold it for a best offer of 10 and the buyer was all in for $15.39. The next item is this Jemmy Christmas animated musical cat. And it sang, I love catnip baby got back. I love catnip baby got back. I don't know. I can't remember how it like, I think I put a video. No, I didn't put a video in the description. I usually do. I wonder why I didn't. Anyway, it was tested and working. The shirt was a little bit dirty. I dragged this out of a mystery box and I sold this for $14.80 and the buyer paid shipping. I think it's saying I love catnip to like the theme song Baby Got Back. And maybe I was afraid I'd get a copyright. I don't know. But anyway, it sold. So I was happy with that. The next is this lamb chop hand puppet. And I do have a video of me actually sourcing this item. I think it's on this channel. It's a garage sale video. I'm standing like out in the middle of a road. Go check that out. I got some bolos that day. I ended up selling this for $14.80 plus shipping and I paid about a dollar for it if I remember correctly. I, this Vera Bradley luggage tag, I don't, garage sale, $1. I did have it in my notes. I have another one left. If anybody needs a Vera Bradley luggage tag, come on over and make me an offer. I sold this one for 10 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this vintage Mego Jordash doll. Look at her Jordash jeans. How cute is that? She is like sporting them. Her hair's a little bit, it's a little rough and her face has that little mark on it. So I picked her up in a Barbie lot, but I just thought her outfit alone was probably worth something. I ended up selling her for $14.79, the, the buyer paid shipping. Next item I sold is this Mary Inglebright Young Witch with Bats. It's a, it's a dessert plate, you guys, and it's an eight inch dessert plate. I got this at the Goodwill for $1. I actually picked up two of them the same day. And I have one listed still. If anybody is interested, please feel free to make me an offer. The link to my eBay store is down in the description. This sold for a full asking price of $18.50 plus shipping. And I did have a sale going on. The next item I sold is this Polly Pocket Fish Bowl. Um, I think I figured this out with Google Lens. Who would have thought? 
that this little teeny fish bowl, guys, would be worth $9 plus shipping. Is that crazy or what? But it came out of a mystery box. And um, yeah, so my cost of goods was probably less than a dollar. This Super Mario uh, Brothers Nintendo 3, it's a power strategy guide. Now, these can be a big money bolo. Mine, however, was in poor condition. I actually put a video of me flipping through the entire book just to show the people the condition because a lot of times people collect these and I just really didn't want there to be any question as to what, um, what it was going to be like. So this one sold for a $14.99 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item that sold is this zebra print hinged bangle bracelet. And this came out of my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay, 344 pounds of jewelry. As I said in the last video, there is a whole playlist of um, with videos about this. So if you want to check that out, you can definitely go over to my um, playlist and look for that. Sold that for $13.31 and the buyer was all in for $19.25. The next item came out of a mystery box and I liked it because it was vintage. It did have some condition issues, pretty bad condition issues really. I'm actually surprised that it sold. Uh, I sold it for $22.19 plus shipping. It's funny because I say I'm surprised it sold, but yet I took the time to list it. So I don't know. I guess I knew it would sell, but... I don't know. Does that make sense? Do you guys ever do that? You're like, I can't believe that sold. All right. So this is a Disney Junior Lion Guard rock, you guys. It's a replacement rock for a Lion King playset. And I sold this for $7.40 plus shipping. Again, a lot of you would not waste your time, but it's super easy for me to list. Um, and it's easy to ship. And I like things that sell quickly and bring decent profits because all small profits add up to one big profit amount at the end of the month. The next item that sold took a long time to sell, but I knew that it would sell. It's a vintage Wild Bill Hickok coloring book from 1978. It is unused. Super cool item. I did have a couple of these. The other ones sold faster. For some reason, this one took a little longer to sell. I sold this at best offer for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. And I got this in a big lot of items at a garage sale. The next item I kind of made a boo-boo on. Um, I shipped this out and I forgot to ship the bodies. So I had all of this stuff in one big bag. And for some reason, I had the bodies separate in the tote. So I picked the big bag of stuff up and assumed that everything was there. And the person reached out to me and they're like, hey, you didn't ship me everything. And I'm like, is this somebody like playing games? And I'm like, no, you need to go home and you need to check the tote before you respond. Um, because my first instinct was, this is like a remorse case. Something's going on. And I got home and sure enough, I found the bodies sitting in the tote. So I did have to pay to ship those, but I got those shipped out the next morning and um, everything was fine. And it just cost me the extra money to ship it, which it was first class, so it could have been worse. Um, I did sell those for $20. The buyer was all in for $38.81, and I got those at a thrift store for two bucks. The next item I picked up is this vintage pie plate. You guys know that I despise breakables. I don't like shipping them. Uh, they take me forever to ship, and I'm always like so nervous that they're gonna get broken. But this was a Roseville pottery piece and I decided to take a chance at a dollar on this and I sold it for $19.98 plus shipping and it sold pretty quickly. The next item is this Walt Disney bucket hat. It's got the Disney uh, logo on the front, the spell out. And I got this at a thrift store for $2. I sold it for $18.50 plus shipping. The next item is this Disney pen from 2006. It actually spins. So it's like a spinner. A uh, pen, and here's the back of it. I got this in a bulk lot of Disney pens at a garage sale. I sold this one for $19.97 plus shipping. This is Team Umizumi Millie. So there is Millie, Geo, and Bot. 
and I have sold all three super quickly. I bought them together and I listed them separately because individually they're going to sell for more than if I lot them as a lot. So I sold her for $14.80. The buyer paid shipping and I had about a quarter in her. This reeked of cigarette smoke, like horrible. Um, I could have got more for this, but I reduced the price because of the smell. Uh, and I just put smells like smoke in the title. So there is just no, I mean, they're going to open this and they're going to be like, oh, whoa, because it's really strong unless they smoke. If they smoke, it might not, they might not notice it, but it was super like strong to me. Um, I sold this for $26 and 25 cents plus shipping. And I got it at a garage sale for $2. So as far as things go with a smoke odor, I always disclose it. Um, it can decrease the value of your item. Um, but sometimes it doesn't. So the next item I sold is this huge lot of assorted canvas. I wish I would have broke this down into smaller lots or started my auction higher. I paid $10 for this tote um, and it ended up selling for $19.99. So I was a little bit bummed about that because it was a great lot. That right there is a sealed package. I could have sold that separately, probably for $10 to $15 just in its on its own. So kind of a womp womp. Um, you can see right here, I do have a video that shows everything that came in the box. The next item I sold is this Fiesta Halloween pumpkin plush jack-o'-lantern. It is a plush pumpkin with a very confused face. I picked this up in a mystery box and I sold this for $20 best offer. The buyer was all in for $27.99. The next item I sold is this Bucilla Counted Cross Stitch Amazing Grace. Um, it's a cross stitch kit. And I sold this for $24. The buyer was all in for $32.53. And I picked this up at a thrift store for $3. And the last item are these magnetic beaded necklaces. And I can't remember if this came out of my bulk buy or if this came out of a lot that I got from Donatella Bottolino. And she sent me some jewelry. For some reason, I'm leaning more towards that. But I can't remember so if you want to go check out my unboxing videos, you might see it over there. All right. So this is really cool. These are magnets and they connect together and you can line them up and they are just really cool. But what is even cooler is you can wear them as bracelets also. So they are interchangeable, super, super cool, neat concept for sure. And you can mix them up like that. I was playing around with them. But anyway, I sold that for a best offer of $14. The buyer was all in for $20.68. All right, you guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. If you made it this far, put an emoji of any type of animal. Whatever you can get your phone to an animal. Put it down in the comments. All right, you guys, thanks for watching.